I'm Scott Westerman, W9WSW, and let's uh, go in the car and take a test drive of a D-Star hotspot. Here's a look at a D-Star hotspot. I actually have this hotspot uh, connected to a vertical that's on the roof of my house. I hope you can see it up there on the peak of the roof, but it um, does very well. It's going through a, um, a D710, Kenwood uh, D710 analog radio, and... Um, what happens is that the hotspot actually connects in one end to a USB port on a computer, which is running a, a, a tool on a software program that connects it to the Internet. And the other end uh, goes into the data port on the D710. And uh, at 5 watts at this height, uh, I, I can talk all the way to the office. This is a QSO going on between um, uh, Dave, who is M0NEY, in uh, about 130 miles north of England, and a VK station over uh, near Sydney, Australia. So you get a chance to see what it really looks great, great quality. Not quite sure. You'll have to correct me if I'm wrong on that. VK2AHM0 anyone? Mike 0, then VK2AHM0 anyone? Mike 0, then VK2AHM0 anyone? So you can see on the on the uh, display there that that actually fires the call sign and a message when you key the mic. The message, of course, is something you can customize. Um, one of the interesting things about D-Star is that you are able to identify by kerchunking. We always used to hate it on the analog machines when somebody would kerchunk and bring the carrier up. But whenever you uh, key the mic on a D-Star machine, it actually fires a uh, packet out with your call sign on it. So this is a, a good example of how D-Star works. The actual hotspot I uh, got from Moen. A Dutch Star hotspot cost me about 150 bucks. Uh, the computer I'm using is an old, old uh, um, XP machine, not very fast, but uh, works just fine. And it's got a uh, Cat5 jack going into the uh, router for the modem, and I have a great time talking. Now, this um, that I'm connected to right now is Reflector One Charlie, Reflector One C, out of Aurora, uh, Illinois, just outside of Chicago. And this actually is known as the uh, mega repeater because people from all over the world will connect to it. And of course, with your uh, D Star system, if you have a D Star repeater, you uh, can very easily connect to any other D Star repeater that has an internet connection or to any of uh, several dozen reflectors. Okay, there, Brian. Sorry about getting a name wrong. So that's what uh, Brian and Dave sound like on D-Star through a uh, Dutch Star hotspot here in good old East Lansing, Michigan. This is Whiskey 9, Whiskey Sierra Whiskey.